good evening all welcome to raj informatica before starting the session please subscribe my youtube channel raj informatica real time hands on job training please subscribe and there are many informatica power center oracle informatica power center informatica idmc unix videos available please comment like and subscribe also please visit my website rajinformatica.com raj informatica is now raj cloud technologies in this website we have many materials unix oracle informatica idmc iss material and also power center oracle idmc interview questions available so please go through this and uh, we are starting a new course uh, python very soon next month so you can refer to if you have any friends looking for python development you can refer this course so please keep visiting my website and uh, please subscribe my channel now coming to the session today is our 23rd batch session 1 i welcome all you people to my informatica power center training of 23rd batch first session evening i hope everyone are able to see my screen and everyone are able to hear me properly when i ask any question please reply in chat whatever i ask please reply in chat make session interactive yes please so are you able to see my screen and are you able to are you able to hear me everyone please yes so now let's start the session we are all, we are all learning here informatica power center so you joined a training called informatica power center so we are all learning informatica power center here so i'll tell you what is informatica power center and where we will use how we will use i'll tell you so before that let let's discuss about course uh, let's discuss about how the course will be okay how we will how we will learn the course all these things we will discuss first then we go to the topic so now every day there are two batches morning and evening morning 9:30 to 11:30 evening 7:30 to 9:30 just hold on a second please hold on a second yes please so there will be two timings daily morning and evening morning 9:30 to 11:30 evening 7:30 to 9:30 so morning whatever i tell the same thing i will repeat in evening you can join either morning batch or evening batch as per your free time so if you are not free at evening you can join morning if you are able to join evening that is your wish you can join any session so our official numbers are raj informatic official numbers are Eight one zero five two nine six eight five eight nine double one three eight six one five double four nine double eight zero four nine zero one four eight. So these are our official numbers. So please, if you get any message from this number, only respond. Other numbers, ignore. I have my personal number. I'll give you personally, not here. So that's about it. Now, coming to the installation. I hope all of them. all of you people already installed informatica power center on oracle correct did you install oracle and informatica anybody installed oracle and informatica yes if you are not installed so please install as soon as possible so we have time till monday so you can install you can install by monday or we have still time no problem so oracle 11g link i have shared already Informatica 10.2.0 link I shared already, and I given a step by step uh, YouTube video. You can search here in the Google uh, Informatica installation uh, by Raj. Informatica installation by Raj. So this is a step by step video. I have explained. Okay, here you can download if you if you need the download links here only it is or WhatsApp us. We'll send the download links. so i have explained here step by step installation how to install so you can watch it and install please okay so now to install informatica what are the system requirements you require what system requirements you need you need at least 6 gb ram in your laptop at least you require 6 gb ram if you have 8 gb ram 
yes that is more than enough if you have 4 gb ram try to take to the laptop showroom and upgrade it to make it to 8 gb or 6 gb but minimum 6 gb is required at least at, la at least 150 gb hard disk space required and it should be 64 bit operating system and coming to the coming to the if you have already oracle 11g informatica then yes enough that is enough if you are already having oracle 11g or informatica 10.5.0 yes enough otherwise unity you install now coming to the processors informatica will support i3 processor i5 i7 and ryzen processors so you can have any processor any generation is fine any generation is fine at least i3 or i5 or i7 or ryzen would be fine and windows 10 or 11 8 also it will support but apart from 8 windows 10 or 11 if if you have then that will be always better windows 8 or 11 will be always better windows or windows 10 or 11 informatica will work faster if you have 512 ssd or 256 ssd also fine no problem okay that's about installation yes please now coming to the sessions first one or one and a half week it will be alternative sessions alternative session means so the next session is on monday that is first next session third next session fifth after one or one and a half week daily session will be there sunday holiday saturday or sunday will be holiday so first one or two weeks it will be alternate two days so total i will tell you 30 to 33 classes i will take 30 classes to 33 classes okay total daily two hours so almost 70 plus hours i will teach you daily two hours so now coming to the recordings recordings 1 to 10 session recordings will be available in the website you can watch any time but from 11 to, to last session it will be 24 hour access so after 24 hours it will expire before 24 hours you need to you need to practice so why i given this is if i give the video access lifetime nobody will watch nobody will join the live sessions so to control that i am giving one to session lifetime one to 10 but after that it will be 24 hour access okay so one second let me connect to the charger hold on i connect to the charger so if you need if you need any recordings after the expiration suppose if you want to watch one or two after the expired videos you can always whatsapp us on 8105296858 our team will give the access suppose if you miss any one or two sessions after 10 session yes guys so what we will do is we'll give the access you no need to worry so the ultimate thing is what you need to do in this training what you have to do on daily basis you have to attend all the live sessions listen carefully understand the live sessions practice on daily basis attend the interviews and get the job this is the process so watch the watch the sessions in laptop only don't watch the sessions from mobile maybe you join today in mobile but from monday you must join in laptop only because mobile session mobile screen will be very low you will not understand anything so take a calm room lock your room put your mobile in silent and concentrate on session you no need to write down anything i will give all the notes whatever the notes i am showing you i'll send you these notes on daily basis you no need to note down anything you just open the laptop join the session and understand it carefully that's it yes guys are you clear everyone everyone are you clear please so what do you have to do you have to attend the live sessions without fail you have to attend all the live sessions please whatever we have 30 to 33 live sessions all live sessions you need to attend and you need to listen them carefully you need to understand them you need to practice on daily basis and you need to read the interview questions and attend it okay so that's what you, you need to do it so on daily basis i will send you a google drive link sending means it will be available in website i'll show you in the next session 
so whatever i'm showing you on the screen you will get it okay now as i told you what and all we will cover in this training this is a job oriented real time training so we will cover data warehousing concepts we will cover in oracle sql basics i i will cover oracle data warehousing concepts okay yes please oracle sql basics informatica power center 10.2.02 basics to advanced unix basic commands yes please and mini project i will ask you to do it mini project i will ask you to do it yes please and resume preparation interview questions and job assistance i'll give the resume resume to you i'll give the interview questions to you and i will give the job assistance means how to apply for the jobs where to apply for the jobs and how to crack the interview all these things i will tell you yes please so as i told you after completion of the session after joining the session after this session whatever we discussed in this session you need to practice without fail without watching video if you practice without watching a video one time you will be it will be remembering in lifetime if you if you watch the video 100 times and practice then there is no use if you watch the video and practice 100 times there is no use try to listen the session carefully try to understand in the session and what you need to do okay and practice without watching the video everyone are you clear please understood everyone are you clear now coming to the whatsapp groups we have two whatsapp groups 23rd batch 23rd batch morning 23rd batch evening whatsapp group yes please 23rd batch morning 23rd batch evening whatsapp group evening people will be added in the evening whatsapp groups evening people will be added in the evening whatsapp groups morning people will be added in the morning whatsapp groups also a consolidated telegram group is there so that is uh, so all my raj informatica students from first batch to this batch so there will be there which is having 1000 plus people will be there yes please and also we have practice groups so apart from these groups we have practice sessions whatsapp groups 9 to 12 12 to 12 to 2 3 to 6 like that suppose if you are free at this time you join into this group and uh, send a zoom link and uh, and practice with others practice in a group so that you will understand better okay so practice groups are very successful in my training so please make use of these practice groups okay yes please and practice as much as possible so as i told you yes please attend all the live sessions without fail listen carefully practice on daily basis if you practice whatever i task given if you complete the mini project if you complete all the if you if you read and understand all my ppt some notes if you read my all the interview questions then you can easily get a job okay and in our training we have majorly three subjects we have majorly three subjects that is one is informatica oracle unix informatica and oracle are major subjects you need to learn unix just basics is enough so just three subjects in 35 days is more than enough it's easy on that to easy subjects i'll make you easy in this training maybe you completed be btech you completed mcr mba you completed degree like bsc bcom ba bbm B, bca bcom whatever it is okay if you completed degree in whole degree you have 15 plus subjects if you completed mcr mba 20 plus subjects if you completed br btech 50 plus subjects will be there correct yes please so if you are able to read understand and write and get the good marks of 50 20 50 subjects why can't you get in why can't you understand and why can't you listen and understand and practice these only three subjects that to majorly two subjects okay only one minor that is basics unix or basics 
so you no need to worry you can easily learn and understand and practice now how many hours you need to practice on daily basis if you have 1 hour practice 1 hour if you have 5 hours practice 5 hours if you have 10 hours free time practice 10 hours so don't waste time how much ever you can practice if you have 2 hours practice 2 hours at least at least 2 to 3 hours daily daily basis you practice and if you don't have those time if you have more time practice more please yes guys are you clear understanding now next leave all your worries everyone are you able to understand what i am saying please reply did you understand what i am saying so the only thing you need to do is you need to just practice as much as possible practice as much as possible yes please now leave all your worries so major worries what in our trainings uh, majorly telugu speaking people will be there also other countries people are there other state people are there majorly telugu speaking people are there so what they will think they will think that they don't have communication skills but you are the people who is having good communication skills don't worry english is just a communication language english is not a we are not doing any ma english or we are not doing any we are not writing any stories here english is just a communication language means whatever the english you are speaking that should be understandable to everyone that's it so english how to improve your english you have to speak english will come by speaking only english will not come by writing reading listening seeing no try to these 35 to 40 to 40 days of our sessions try to chat in english try to speak in english speak english with your family members speak in english with your friends who are who knows better better english than you and ask them to correct your english whatever the english you know try to speak up if you speak up then only english will come and simple english is more than enough i am having almost 13 to 15 years experience i have but i am speaking a simple english that is more than enough whether my english is understandable you to you or not is matters i can speak foreign english also i can speak us english also but my english is understandable to you or not is very important so is my english is understandable to you is my english is simple is my english is simple and understanding yes same thing how this english will come maybe i am also like you i am an mca okay i am also an mca student i completed my mca in hyderabad when i completed my mca i don't know i did not know english okay but when i started speaking with others then i improved my english whether it is good english or bad english you speak it you speak up when you speak english then it will come so these 35 days take a challenge that i can speak english and speak in english only and chat in english only so english over now i don't know oracle i don't know informatica i don't know queries you no need to worry about it i'll tell you all those things you no need to join any spoken english class nothing not required just speak whatever english you know speak up that's it so this is about this is about the our training daily what we will do in this training this is a thing now let's get into the topic yes guys shall we go into the topic shall we go into the topic everyone yes now we are all learning here what we are all learning informatica power center correct we are all learning informatica power center informatica power center is an etl tool it is an is etl tool what is etl i'll tell you anyway what is etl i'll tell you very clearly in the later sessions but uh, yes please ultimately etl means extract transform load extract 
transform and load that is called etl so what is this etl we'll see where we will use this informatica how the informatica projects are implemented why you want to use informatica where you want to use informatica i'll tell you now what is use of informatica you are learning a course called informatica so where we will use this in real time that i will tell you let's go to big bazaar okay let's take a simple example big bazaar correct big bazaar is a supermarket correct yes guys everyone has everyone has went to big bazaar correct is that right yes guys is that right everyone reply you know big bazaar it's a it's a supermarket business means retail business so suppose daily what will happen suppose there is a branch in bangalore indranagar branch suppose 100 customers entered into big bazaar from morning 9 o'clock to evening 8 o'clock 100 people entered what these people will do i will go to the big bazaar i'll take whatever the groceries i want i'll take whatever the vegetables i want i'll take whatever the fruits i want i'll take this and i'll put it in a trolley and i will go to the cashier i'll give it to cashier what cashier will do cashier will scan all your barcodes of the products once he done the scanning he will click on print when he click on print he will get a bill what kind of bill what are the items you purchased number of items cost of the pro, uh, what selling price and total okay yes guys so now when you click on print this hundred people hundred people made 10 lakh rupees today total 100 people made 10 lakh rupees today. So all these 100 customers data, when you click on print, it will save under table. When you click on print, the print will be given to you. Internally in Big Bazaar laptop or desktop, okay, this 100 customers data will be saved in a table. Now, what is data? What is data? What is data means? What is data? Data is collection of information, correct? Data is collection of information. Collection of information means what is that means? Collection of information means. So if you go to bank, bank, if you go to, if you deposit 10,000, it will be saved under a table. That is called banking data, retail data, educational data, healthcare data, insurance data, government data, entertainment data, correct? Wherever we go, if you go to a pharmacy medical shop, there will be a desktop, correct? Yes, guys. In the desktop, he will enter. What he will enter? He will enter the data about the customers. Yes or no, please? Is it right, guys? Everyone, are you there? Everyone understanding? Everyone, please reply. You have to reply, please. You should not sleep. You should reply, please. Understanding everyone? So, everywhere, wherever you go, data exists. Now, this data will be saved under a table. This data will be saved under a table. What is a table? Table is a collection of rows and columns. So, suppose there is a customer table customer table so this is having rows and columns like this this is called a table okay we'll be having columns customer id customer name customer name okay customer id customer name location yes please location yes please number of items yes please price like this like this there will be columns suppose if any customer entered into big bazaar what they will do they will enter like this okay bangalore number of items 10 price price 5000 like this 20 ram chennai 20 8000 like this correct so now these horizontal lines are called rows this horizontal lines are, lines are called rows or records. 
or records this vertical lines are called this vertical lines are called columns or attributes or fields columns or attributes or fields yes or no please is it right everyone understanding are you clear so the horizontal lines are called rows the vertical lines are called columns it is having five columns and two rows this is called a table so data is a collection of information table is collection of information in the format of rows and columns the data will store in a table and such table suppose there are 100 tables all these 100 tables will store under database all these 100 tables will store under database okay so every business is having a database data collection information table collection of data database collection of tables understood please are you clear now what are the examples of databases in real time what are the examples of databases banking data retail data banking database retail database education database healthcare database insurance database government database if you go to any bank i say bank hdfc bank they will be having banking database if you go to any supermarket any grocery shop retail database if you go to college school if you go to college or school education database if you go to any if you go to any pharmacy or medical shop or a hospital healthcare if you go to insurance company insurance if you go to any government office government database if you go to any movie entertainment database clear guys understood everyone are you clear hold on i am getting a call hold on so yes please did you understand what i said did you understand what is database everyone are you clear please so wherever you go there will be data that data will be stored in the format of tables that tables will be stored under database that's it now based on this information whatever we have i will tell you i will tell you what is why we need where we will use informatica power center where we will use this informatica projects we will see that now okay so now did you understand what is data what is database what is table did you understand everyone are you clear please everyone guys are you clear yes please now let's let's do a simple example now let's see a simple example so what is this example is you please see now suppose i i am the owner of big bazaar for example i am the owner of big bazaar i have a branch called in bangalore i have one branch called indranagar branch in indranagar branch so i am telling you what why we need to use informatica and where we will use informatica i am telling that that is what i am going to tell now suppose i am the big bazaar owner i am the owner of the big bazaar i am having one branch in indranagar and today 100 customers entered into my branch and when 100 customers entered into my branch today i got the sales of 20 lakhs 20 lakhs these 100 customers paid one guy paid 10000 one guy paid 50000 one guy paid 2000 500 200 100 5000 10000 like this 20 lakh happened as a big bazaar as a owner of any business what i will see ultimately end of the day at the end of the day what i will see if i am if i have a business at the end of the day what i will look into what i want at the end of the day what i want i want what are the sales today whether i got profit whether i got loss today correct if you have a business what you will see today total how much money i got from the customers based on the money whether i got profit today or loss today correct yes or no please is it right so how i will calculate that today 
20 lakh sales has happened on 29th march 2024 20 lakh sales has happened now i will calculate the expenses expenses is like rent of the building maintenance of the building cost price of the goods suppose in big bazaar a book is there for big bazaar book is 10 rupees for them but they are selling for 12 rupees 2 rupees they will take margin and they are selling selling price is 12 price 12 rupees so cost price salaries of the employees of that day those are called expenses correct so now i got 20 lakh sales today and i got 15 lakh expenses so i got profit or loss profit equal to sales minus expenses so what i got whether i got profit today or loss whether i got profit or loss today everyone please respond quickly i got 5 lakh profit i lakh five, i got 5 lakh profit today suppose if my sales is 10 lakhs expenses are 15 lakh then i got loss 5 lakh minus 5 so that is so ultimately as a big bazaar owner i need these three things what sales report profit report loss report also this is for one branch for example i have five branches like in in bangalore i have indranagar branch i have jayanagar branch i have jp nagar branch i have mg road branch for example okay suppose in bangalore i have five branches in bang in chennai i have seven branches in hyderabad i, I have 10 branches in mumbai i have eight branches then ultimately what i need i need branch wise report in bangalore each branch what is the sales profit loss total bangalore city wise report total karnataka state wise report total south zone north zone east zone west zone total country wide do i need the report yes or no please i cannot go on each and every branch and i can calculate i cannot calculate correct ultimately i need these reports not only this i need daily report i need weekly report i need monthly report i need quarterly report yearly report in indranagar branch monthly how much i got in total bangalore this year how much i got in total karnataka this quarter how much i got in total country this year how much profit or loss or sales i got do i need that as a big bazaar owner i will look into it yes or no please do i need it why should i need this why should i need the reports why should i need the reports what is the use of the reports what is the use why should i use to improve the business to improve the business if i want to improve my business i need to improve the business or to take the better decision to take the better business decisions yes please to take the be better business decisions i need business reports okay what kind of business reports what kind of decision for example in bangalore indranagar i am observing monthly reports january i got 50 lakh loss february i got 1.5 crore loss march i got 20 lakh loss april i got 70 lakh loss continuously four to six months it is getting loss in lakhs to crores correct do i need to continue this in indranagar continuously six months i got in lakhs loss it's waste of time waste of energy waste of effort waste of everything waste of money if i continue again correct yes or no then i need to take a better business decision how i got january report i got january indranagar report february indranagar report march indranagar report april indranagar half year report i got so what i will do i will remove the branch in bank in indranagar and i will put it in a good location that is called better business decision if i don't see the report can i can i take this decision suppose i don't i don't see the report at all then i will ignore this branch simply i'll be getting loss correct 
yes sir no please everyone are you clear no next one more decision i want to give bonus to my employees i have total 1000 employees throughout india 1000 employees are working in business in big bazaar total 1000 employees are working in big bazaar i want to give bonus this year i will get top 100 solid people report top 100 how many people are there how many employees are there lowest 500 salaried how many are there for top 100 i will increase i will give the bonus 5% for lowest 500 i'll give 15% if i give 15% for these people no problem correct anyway these are less salaries if i give 15% to this then it will be huge money correct for top 100 salaried people if i give 15% it will be a loss for me, correct? Yes or no? It's a huge money, correct? Because they are all top, top earning people. For them, I am giving less bonus for these people. Like this, every business, whatever the business it is, it's a banking business, it's a retail business, it's a it's an entertainment business, it's an insurance business, it's an healthcare business or an educational business. They will do the, they will see the reports. Understood? Now, how these reports will generate? Who will generate these reports? That we need to understand. Did you understand what is the business? How the business will work? What business owner required? Did you understand? Everyone? What every business owner will look into? If you have a small business, suppose you have a small shop, ultimately you will see this, correct? If you see only, then only you will get it. Then only you will get whether you are, whether your business is performing good or not. If you don't see them, then you will not analyze, you cannot analyze your business and you will not improve your business. Yes or no guys? Is that right? Is it correct what I said? Yes or no? Yes, absolutely please. Now, so who will generate these reports? How these reports will generate? is our next point okay let me open an image okay please try to understand okay for example you see this see this please i have a i have big bazaar correct i have big bazaar in big bazaar i have 100 tables okay so customer table employees table products table dealership table there many different different tables are there. The data, data will be stored. Suppose there is one table, for example, in Big Brother, there is one table called customers. Who will enter the data into whenever, suppose I entered into Big Brother, I'll give the goods to cashier. Cashier will enter the data, correct? Who will enter the data to Big Brother table? Who will enter the data? Cashier or clerk, correct? Cashier will enter, num okay. Uh, customer ID, customer name, okay, uh, phone number, okay, then uh, suppose number of soaps 10, each soap, each soap 50 rupees, 500 rupees, a number of uh, apples uh, 5, each apple 30 rupees, 150, like that he will enter the customer data, correct, when you click on print, he will get a print, internally it will save in the table, in his system, correct, like that, he is having 100 tables, Big Bazaar is having 100 tables of the data. This kind of data is called transactional data. Correct? Uh, this every, every, every record, whenever a customer enters, whenever a customer paid 1000 rupees to Big Bazaar cashier, that is called a transaction, correct? Is that right? Is that called a transaction? Yes, guys. Is it called a transaction? Yes. So, Big Bazaar, what cashier, whatever they enter the data, that data is called transactional data, also called OLTP, online transactional processing. This data is called raw data. Understood? Now, Big Bazaar is having raw data or transactional data. Big Bazaar wanted the reports. What reports they want? These reports they want. Big Bazaar needs these reports. Now, Big Bazaar will contact to a software company. 
Big Buzzer will contact to a software company called Accenture. Accenture almost it is having 30 years experience in IT industry. They have handled many projects like this, correct? They will, Big Bazaar will give money to Accenture. Tell that I need these reports. My requirement is these reports. Big Bazaar will give the money to Accenture. Big Bazaar will tell that I will give the raw data or transactional data to you, which are in the tables or database. You take this data and generate the reports. Now what Accenture will do? Accenture will hire ETL developers or Informatica developers like you and me. They will use Informatica Power Center tool. They will extract the data from this Big Bazaar database, modify as per the business, load the data to data warehouse, load this data to some other database called data warehouse. When the data is extracted, modified called transformed and loaded to data warehouse this data is called analytical data analytical data so our transactional data big bazaar transaction data is modified as per business requirement to analytical data correct from this analytical data reporting developers will generate the reports ETL developers use Informatica to extract, transform, and load. And reporting developers who is working on Power BI, Tableau, Cognos, SSRS, they will generate the reports. Okay. In a simple term, I will tell you something. What? Suppose raw data will be stored in default in table format only. Tables only. This data will be stored in a data in a table in a database. Okay. So whenever the cashier enters, it will automatically save it as a rows. Every transaction will save it as a row in a table. Like that, many tables are there for Big Bazaar. Okay. What is the Big Bazaar requirement ultimately? What is the requirement of Big Bazaar? What Big Bazaar required? They required business reports, correct? They require business reports. Okay. In a simple term, in a simple term, I have raw, they have what raw data, correct? They have raw data. Who is having raw data? Big Bazaar people is having raw data or transactional data. Now let's compare to something else. I am having raw material. I am having cement, bricks, iron, sand, stones, and money. I wanted what I wanted to, I wanted a building, apartment I want. I want an apartment. What I will do, I will contact to a construction company, correct? I will go to construction company. I will give all these things to construction company, correct? Yes or no? I have cement, I have bricks, I have iron, I have sand, I have stones, I have money. I will give this raw material to construction company. Same way. Big Bazaar is giving the transactional data to Accenture. Now what construction company will do? Construction company will build an apartment as per your requirement. What is my requirement? My requirement is I need one apartment with four floors. In each floor, four flats. In each flat, three BHK, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, one kitchen, one hall, one dining hall I require. Same way, Big Bazaar is having transactional data. They need the business reports. Same way, I am having the raw material and I need an apartment. That is my requirement. Now, what construction company will do? They will hire the workers. Correct? Accenture will hire ETL developers. What these workers will do? They will give a good shape to this raw material as per the requirement. Correct? Workers will do daily basis. They will work hard. And they will give a good shape to this raw material. Yes or no? Correct, guys? Is that right? They will build the building. They will build the building. They will give a shape to this. Same way, as an ETL developer, we will give a shape to this transactional data. That data is called analytical data. 
now my analytical data is my apartment okay apartment is built right apartment is ready now this is a transformed my workers extracted these modified these and given a building the building having four floors each floor is having four flats each flat is having 3 bhp but they did not do paint they did not do interior can you live in that if the apartment without paint without interior can you can you can you live in it no if i give this analytical data to customers means to big bazaar will they understand no they will not understand if i if you simply give a building without painting without lights without interior you will not live then what you should do you should give a good shape to this data how you need to paint you need to give the lights you need to do the interior wardrobes and fall ceiling whatever it is that giving a good shape to the giving a good not only shape what i can say i wanted to leave it i wanted to leave in that that is called reports so as like i have raw material big bazaar is having transactional data i want to give this i my requirement is to build a building same with this requirement is to get the reports they will contact to accenture i will contact to construction company accenture will hire etl developers construction company will have hire workers etl developers will give a good shape to this data that shape that good data is called analytical data same way workers will give a good shape to this raw material that raw material is called that is called apartment but directly if i give the apartment to my client to me without painting without lightings without interiors he will not live same way if we give this data to etl etl your work is extract the data transform and load it but you should not give this to your clients your big bazaar you should give a good shape you should give a understandable shape i wanted to live in an apartment then i'll give the painting styles interiors lightings then only you got to wait understood please are you clear now what is etl why we need to use informatica so by using informatica as a etl developer extract the data from oltp modify it and load it to and load it to what load it to data warehouse but client will not use the data warehouse your work is this only next reporting developers other people they will generate the reports out of this this reports will be given to the client suppose big bazaar has given a project to accenture so for accenture big bazaar is a client for accenture big bazaar is a customer for accenture big bazaar is a stakeholder for accenture big bazaar is a user correct yes sir no guys now did you understand where is used informatica in real time everyone every business if they wanted the reports they will use etl every business use etl informatica is a etl tool clear guys understood everyone i given a simple the best example i given did you understand please are you clear so what a etl developer you or myself what i will do i will extract the data from my client and i will give a good shape as per the business logic and i will load it to data warehouse that is what i will do and reporting people will generate the reports clear please are you clear understood any doubts please any doubts guys did you understand clearly so now as i told you 
now actually we are having in in software industry we are having a we are having a concept called oltp means online transactional processing online transactional processing transactional data oltp means online analytical processing yes guys Trans this is raw data this is raw material whatever the customer entered and whatever they do one second guys i am getting a call just hold on yes guys see this is customer data correct are called raw data correct what we will do informatica will come in middle informatica will extract transform extract the data from this informatica will extract transform means modify as per the business rules and load it to olap online analytical processing this is online transaction processing this is analytical data after giving a good shape to data this is just as raw data this is giving good shape to data correct as per the requirement that is called olap also called data warehouse understood please are you clear understanding everyone clear guys reporting is not our work reporting is reporting developer and another person we will do only this we will do only this what extract transform load etl that's it that is informatica the reporting people will use these these tools and generate the reports based on the that data which we loaded now if you see here there is a concept called business intelligence in software industry this business intelligence is divided into three parts data warehouse data mining data visualization data warehouse is divided into two parts etl tools reporting tools now our informatica will come under this you are all a bi developer or a data warehousing developer or etl developer so what are etl tools informatica power center informatica cloud iss or idmc data stage abinitio snowflake ssis reporting developers or reporting tools are power bi tableau cognos ssrs micro strategy these are the reporting tools so we are all informatica developers or etl developers or data warehouse developers or bi developers understood please so i will tell in the next session what is etl in depth what is informatica what is database how to use database i'll tell you in the next session so is my session is interesting understanding is my session is interesting understanding are you getting something from my training every day it will be like this only you no need to worry about it every day it will be like that only is my english is understandable to you yes guys so it will be like that only daily basis you no need to worry about it okay yes please now now next session is on monday next session is on monday yes please next session is on i'll i'll send this bit i'll send this to you okay you no need to worry i'll send this image i'll send this all these things to you you no need to worry about it. i'll send this the notes i will send whatever the notepad i'll send the images i'll send whatever i show you on the screen you will get it on the day you no need to worry about it. so next session is on monday so who ever paid full fee we will you will get whatsapp group you will add you you will get the website access you will get the video recordings you will get the material today session i'll upload in the today session i'll upload in youtube okay yes please so you can watch in youtube okay so who ever paid full fee so only those people will get this if you did not pay the full fee please pay the full fee and get the website the whatsapp group access okay so here i'll give all the updates and you can discuss you can help others 
you can ask any doubts if you want in this whatsapp group fine guys next session will be on monday so if you don't pay the full fee so please pay as soon as possible and get the access as soon as possible please fine guys is the fine so are you able to clearly understand my training are you able to understand my training are you able to get something out of my training are you able to understand my english fine guys good thanks for joining before logging off please open youtube and search for raj informatica and subscribe my channel comment like my videos if you like it there are many useful videos available and raw data will come raw data will come in oltp raw data will not come in data warehouse raw data will be in oltp only in oltp only raw data will not come to data warehouse analytical data will come to data warehouse okay this is about today's session thanks for watching thanks for joining before before you leave please subscribe my channel raj informatica youtube channel and like comment and subscribe and keep watching my website rajinfo.com so our raj informatica is very soon is changing to raj cloud technologies we are adding many courses next next month we are starting python development training and like that we will add all courses and in this website you have many materials available many interview questions available and you can see what are all the what are all the courses we offer and please keep watching my website please subscribe my channel thanks for joining thank you all good night thanks guys